welcome to the Cloud Design Box User Adoption Podcast. Uh, here with me today is Gareth Rose from the Notley High School and Braintree Sixth Form. Uh, he's the assistant head there. Hi, Gareth. Hi, Darren. You okay? Yeah, good. Thank you. Good. So um, you've been using Teams for a while for your, your classes uh, and teaching and learning, but you've also been using it for um, school business. So we'd like to chat a little bit today um, about how that uh, is working for you and what the benefits are. So wh why do you think that, um, that using Teams uh, uh, for school business is, is useful? Um, well, I think what, what, it, what it was for us is that SharePoint is a brilliant tool for sharing. Um, and, and of course, you can use it for collaboration. But if we adopt the, the school model where it kind of replaces an intranet uh, and you have area sites for different subjects, um, you, you delve into the point where you have all your heads of faculty and you want to be able to share some files with heads of faculty as middle leaders and you actually want them to be able to edit those files and then you have your heads of year or heads of house and you want to be able to share files with them. So you either, we were making SharePoint sites but then giving people edit rights on that SharePoint sites and I kind of view that SharePoint looks nice and is a lovely view on data but that Teams is maybe a bit more uh, down to the ground working with the files as opposed to just viewing the files. Yeah, so collaboration and things like that. Yes, yeah. Co-authoring. Yeah. OK, great. And what kinds of Teams have, have you made? So we've got, um, I'd, I'd probably say there's about five core Teams that we've got. So we've got an SLT team that all members of SLT are, uh, are in. We've got an SLT admin team because we have a small group of people who support SLT. They've got a team, so if they're doing any work for us, their work's in that team and that's got them and the members of SLT in it. We have got a pastoral middle leaders team, which has got all of SLT and our heads of houses, which in other schools may be heads of year. And then we've got a curriculum middle leaders team, which is again all of SLT, but then all of the subject leaders or heads of faculty. Um, and then the only other one that we've got is we have a data admin team, which is where um, the data manager stores files temporarily whilst we're working on them between us. Great. And how have people found uh, getting used to that? Because Teams is quite different to, to, to SharePoint or anything else. Yeah, it's got a very different look. So one of the things I did to ensure that that uh jarring effect of the different look was was reduced was to use your mega menu and to uh, put links on your mega menu to access those teams so right. rather than kind of say here's sharepoint and it's the be all and end all and it's everything we use except for now it's not because i want you to use this i've used sharepoint to link through to, to to those teams yeah that makes sense and um one of the things that um i think you've you've used and it's it's quite new and it's quite controversial at the moment is the idea of private channels in teams so as well as having a team with a with a certain group of people in you can also create a private channel and picking out of those people in in, in that main group you can say only these this only this subset of people can have access to that has has that worked for you because as i say it's quite it's quite controversial some people say you should just build separate teams yeah, um, you and I, Darren, have known each other for quite some time and uh, in this school and a previous school and we've had very similar things about permissions uh, and, and I think we both kind of circle around the same idea every time uh, and we both agree and then disagree and agree and disagree. We go back and back and forth in circles. What never made sense to me about the idea of making different teams was, for example, when you've got heads of faculty. So the heads of faculty or your subject leaders in, in a school are a group and they have access to documents, for example, maybe some high level intervention documents, some um, quality assurance records. Um, they may have access to departmental CEF documents, etc. And those documents are shared with SLT uh, and a large chunk of those files are are consistent across all the heads of faculty. So all the heads of faculty, you want to be able to look at the minutes from the, the heads of faculty meetings, etc. Um, so if you make a separate team just for the head of faculty for Spanish, say, then 
you've then got a link from that team back to the other team because the other team's got the agenda in it because that's shared for everyone. And this team's only got the quality assurance records for that faculty in it. And what you end up with is then too many teams that link in too many directions. Uh, it might make a bit more sense if I show you it, Darren. Uh, yeah, that'd be great if you could. Yeah, so if I just share my screen with you, um, you should have it now. Um, yep. This is our staff homepage. And then um, on our mega menu here from, from you, um, we have got a pastoral middle leaders team That's and a heads of faculty team. So if I go to the heads of faculty team, when I click that link, it goes through to teams. That link works well on my PC. It doesn't work so well on mobile, but I know that you're working on that one. Um, so this is our heads of faculty team. And then if we look on the left hand side here, you can see that makeup of that team. And what it means is that everyone in this team can view what's in this general folder, which contains numbers of files that we're all working on as a group. And then in the staff notebook, we've got the minutes for the last meetings that the heads of faculties have had. Here, you can see a private channel for each faculty. And when you look in that channel, the only people who can see that channel are all of SLT and that faculty lead. So that's a private area that that faculty lead can keep quality assurance documents and discuss them with their SLT links, knowing they're secure and that other faculty leads can't see them. But at the same time, they can still access everything that's in the general area. Yeah. And Great. the same the same's true. Here's our pastoral middle leaders one. And the looked after children section is applicable to all pastoral middle leaders, but what's specific to a specific house is only specific to that specific house. So that's quite a nice quick way to do navigation, isn't it? Rather than, as you say, linking across to separate teams. Yeah, yeah. We also made the decision that whilst Teams has got SharePoint sites behind it, I wasn't going to use them because yeah. what I was going to do was make sure staff could go SharePoint. That's for sharing of information and looking at and Teams is more for the collaboration and working together, etc. Yeah, that works. That really works for you. Um, so you've done that for five teams so far, and obviously you've got a lot of SharePoint sites as well. Um, I, I noticed because obviously I, I, I know you've got a lot of documents in this system, but in these teams, there's a relatively small number. Is that how that tends to work? Is that the teams have a, a concentrated number of documents that you're actually authoring? And then do they ever get moved somewhere else? Do they yeah, if, if we look at the pastoral middle leaders one, there's a bit more in there, but yes. What happens is we work on a file in Teams and then when that file is finished, we move it to SharePoint. We try to aim at there's one copy of a file. So it's either not a released version of the file and it's in Teams and it's private to whoever is entitled to view it, or it's the released version, in which case it's in SharePoint and that's where people go to get it.